Why, Moose? Why? Welcome back to the ACB Wrestling Talk channel, your main source for wrestling news, topics, debates, previews, all that kind of good stuff. I am your host, Alexis Carrillo, and tons of things on deck for tonight's episode of Impact Wrestling on Pop. So let's get right into the official lineup. And we've got ourselves a rematch between Rich Swan and Petey Williams. And based on what happened last week at Redefined, I think there's more to this match than they are giving on to. Mostly because Petey Williams was not a fan of Rich Swan wanting to begin their match last week by doing all these dancing moves. I'm expecting probably a Petey Williams heel turn. Might happen, might not happen. We'll just have to wait and see. OVE faces off against Ace Austin, Zachary Wentz, and Trey Miguel in a six-man tag team match with an all-Ohio theme. And I'm expecting one of two things to happen in this match. One of which would either be OVE winning this match and then tagging the other team from behind, causing the Lucha Brothers to come out and defend them, or two, OVE wins this match by DQ because they're just so ruthless on the other team, and the Lucha Brothers come out to reignite this feud that started last week. That's what I'm expecting. Either way, I think we're building up to OVE versus Lucha Brothers at Bound for Glory, and Sammy Callahan versus Brian Cage, also at Impact's biggest pay-per-view event of the year. We have Henry, Joe Henry, the prestigious one, and Grado facing off against the Desi Hit Squad, and I gotta point this out. I am loving the backstage segments with the Desi Hit Squad, even more than their matches, simply because I think having Gamma Singh beat them, because they haven't really achieved anything in the wrestling business yet, they haven't achieved anything in Impact Wrestling, I think that that really builds their story arc, their character progresses in that way, and that gives us a little more of insight into the actual Desi Hit Squad. One thing that I'm really excited about is the Eli Drake Open Challenge, and who knows who might answer it, it might be Mr. Atlantis, it might be somebody else, but I just wanted to point this out, and I'm just spitballing here. Is Impact Wrestling positioning Eli Drake with the coat of Lee in hopes that in the future Eli Drake could turn babyface by having the coat of Lee turn on Eli Drake? I'm just putting that out there. Who knows? Maybe it'll happen before Bound for Glory, after Bound for Glory. Maybe it'll never happen. I'm just putting that out there. That's just my hypothesis right now. The LAX backstage segments. Who's been calling? Who called King? Who called Conan last week on Impact that caused them to, you know, put the brakes on this uh, street warfare that LAX and the OGs have been developing? And honestly, this whole who made the call has got me guessing because I, honestly, I don't see anyone pretty obvious that could be the one calling them. At first, when they called King, I thought it was maybe Diamante with a few press charges, whatever, whatever kind of threats, but then Conan said, sir, in his call, so we'll just have to wait and see what kind of story we delve into. We have a knockouts title match. Tessa Blanchard defends her newly won title against Sue Young, and even though it's going to be a good match, that I firmly believe, it's too soon to take off the title from Tessa Blanchard, otherwise it would have been illogical to have her win the title last week at Redefined, so I fully expect Tessa Blanchard to walk out still champion. And finally, the big topic leading into this episode of Impact Wrestling, why did Moose turn on Eddie Edwards? Why did he spear Eddie Edwards in the middle of the ring and then almost broke his neck with that steel chair spot at the end of the show? Moose is going to have to explain his actions, and he's also going to have to explain if he is indeed allied to Austin Aries and Killer Cross, or was it just a one-time thing from last week? Now, I see one of three options here. Either Moose is frustrated at the fact that he was taken out by Austin Aries with a concussion at Slammiversary, and Eddie Edwards didn't even call him, and didn't even visit him at a hospital, didn't even check on him, 
Maybe that could be a reason, that could be the story that they play out. Another option would be the fact that, uh, you know, when Eddie Edwards and Tommy Dreamer were feuding, they were having their big rivalry, Moose reached out to Eddie Edwards trying to stop him from for what he was doing, and Eddie Edwards just shoved him out of the way and told him to stay out of it. That could be a reason. And finally, number three, uh, Moose gets taken out by Austin Aries, and Eddie Edwards takes advantage of that and decides to make himself the new number one contender in hopes of regaining the Impact World title, and Moose is pretty mad about that. Now, it could be one of those things, two of those things, all three of them, none of them. We'll just have to wait and see for tonight's episode of Impact on Pop. What do you think about tonight's episode? What do you think is going to happen? We've got several topics in line. Most importantly, the Moose topic. What do you think is going to be the excuse or the reasons behind Moose betraying Eddie Edwards last week. Leave your thoughts, comments, and predictions on the comments section below. If you're into wrestling news, topics, debates, previews, all that kind of good stuff, consider subscribing. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you dislike this video, hit the dislike button. That's it for me. Till next time.